my name is Suba and I'm a math expert. And today we're going to go over how to simplify your thinking about math. So math can be kind of complicated and kind of scary uh, for a lot of people. So a good way is to kind of take a problem and break it down into its basics so it's not so scary using a couple of simple steps. The first step that you would want to do is label and find all of the relevant information. Now, uh, finding the relevant information also entails being able to know what the problem is looking for. So make sure you understand what the problem is asking, go over it, circle all the important information. So if they said a plane was flying at 22 miles per hour and the sky was clear, you don't need to know that the sky was clear, you just need that number. So helping to simplify those problems is really going to help you focus in. A second thing that you're going to want to do is think about similar problems you've had in the past and the strategies that you used to solve those problems. So what formulas did you use? Did you use the Pythagorean theorem? Did you break it down into a picture? How did you solve this the last time? What have you seen that's similar to this? And the third thing is just to list all the equations you already know because sometimes if you have everything written out it's, something's going to click. When you have the information, you think about the strategies you've used, you have this toolbox of equations that you've been learning. It helps to just have all that in front of you and suddenly the problem won't be so complicated. So that's a way to simplify your thinking about math. My name is Suba and thank you for taking an interest in math.